Joined now by CBS Sports senior writer Jerry Palm here to take stock of the top of the country. Uh, JP, the ACC title game now set between number two and number three in the country in the form of Notre Dame and Clemson. I think it's safe to say objectively two of the top four teams in the nation, but they will meet and we will figure out more about both of these teams. Have you warmed to the idea of barring the outcome of this ACC title game, both of these teams possibly having a place in that playoff? Yeah, well, Clemson has to win the game in order for that to occur. Clemson with two losses may not be a playoff team. Uh, but if Clemson and Notre Dame are each sitting there with one loss, Clemson's the ACC champion. Uh, it would take an unusual set of circumstances to keep both of those or one of those teams out of the playoff. Well, speaking of unusual sets of circumstances, let's talk about the Big Ten for a moment. Ohio State hoping to be eligible for their conference championship game. They will need to play and win that game uh, against Michigan this coming weekend. Uh, is that how you see this one going? I mean, I know we can't forecast anything COVID-wise. Michigan was out this weekend with too high COVID numbers. Does the path for Ohio State only go through the championship game of the Big Ten to get to the playoff, or is there another way for them to get into this playoff without seeing their conference championship game? I think undefeated Ohio State is a playoff team. Whether they win the Big Ten championship or just get to play another game against a good team on December 19th, uh, I still think that undefeated big uh, Ohio State is probably a playoff team as long as they continue to play the way they did this week. You know, they need to look like a playoff team because all you have is eye test. And when you have fewer games, you have less of a margin for error when it comes to that eye test. My eyes are telling me that the top four right now are the top four in the country, as was the case from ranking number one to ranking number two. Tuesday, we will get ranking number three for the college football playoff. Do you foresee any sort of surprises after what we saw on Saturday? I would expect the top 10 to stay the same. Uh, the teams that played, which is most of them, uh, won comfortably enough, didn't play the kind of opponent that moves the needle. Uh, nobody got a scare. Uh, it was just... It was an ordinary Saturday for these teams, and uh, and I would expect no change at all in the top 10. Now, once you get past that, you know, Oklahoma struggled a little bit today. IU, Indiana, 12 could move past them. Coastal Carolina is going to move up uh, maybe as high as 12 or 13. So, you know, after that big win over BYU, but the top 10, I think, is going to be pretty stable. Top two, and he's not two. Jerry Palm breaking it down here on HQ. Thanks, JP. All right, here is a look at that top 10. Uh, it's just a weird year. You got six and two some places. You got seven and one others. Five and oh sitting at number four, a perfect 10 and oh at number two. See where the chips fall. Alabama goes one, Notre Dame goes two, Clemson goes three, Ohio State goes four. Anything beyond that, something's got to give. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.